splashed around. Got the chest waders on nice. Feels damn good to have these bad boys back on. We're working with right here. We got a sphagnum moss. Ho oh, ho. Bet you didn't think you were going to run into sphagnum outside of a bog. This is a pretty badass moss. Can hold like 40 times its weight in water or something crazy like that. There's a whole abundance of it out here. That green stuff is probably Carex folliculata that's been mowed. We got Calamagrostis candidensis. This is a wetland, folks, and we're gonna go, we're gonna look at these puddles and see what's in it. There's a bunch of roads and everything's fragmented to shit, but we're just, uh, we're winging it pretty hard. I hear frogs, hopefully we find some. So we are, uh, we're approaching what I believe to call frog territory. And the best way to look for frogs in vernal pools, I'm no herpetologist, so if any of them want to correct me, but you get, you get down low and you watch the water because all these frogs, you know, they're, they're thinking about one thing and one thing only, and that thing is sex. Okay. So like these guys, the males are going to be calling nonstop to try to attract females and advertise their fitness. So it's really easy to take advantage of basically how horny these frogs are. And you'll be able to see rippling stemming from the uh, probably like sound vibrations off the frog as they make the call. There's none of that going on in here. But at the beginning of the video, we were getting pretty close. The hard part is, is that they shut up right when you get within like five feet of them. So... We'll see what we can do. So, um, not sure if this is what I wanted to see yet or not. I don't know if this frog is alive. We're about to find out, though. Oh, yeah. I thought you were dead. This is a boreal chorus frog. You might mix it up with the spring peepers by the uh, emergence time. But you can tell it's a boreal chorus frog. It doesn't want me anywhere near it, and that's fair. But you can tell it's a boreal chorus frog because you see those stripes on the back? These are in the um these are in the same genus as spring peepers, the genus Pseudocree. Or Pseudocris. But rather than Pseudocris maculata, these are Pseudocris something else that I can't remember right now. But I know you can tell them apart because rather than having an X on the back like you get in a Pseudocree crucifer. The, uh, the boreal chorus frog has stripes, just vertical stripes. So it's a beautiful fucking frog. A sign of spring, there's a whole bunch of them calling. Uh, we'll try to get some more footage of them. But just going off in the roadside ditch and with, all these, uh, with all these little isopods. And it makes me wonder, um, oh, here's another one. Look at that. Pretty badass. Fuck yeah, I needed this. There's another one. So there's three of them in this flooded road. There was the one just swimming. You got this guy who's got mud all over his face and is sprawled out, just straight up vibing. And then you got this little one down here who is right next to my boot. But that's pretty fucking wonderful. Um, swearing a lot, sorry about that. Don't show this to your kids, I guess. Look at this weird little guy pulled an isopod out of that road. Wow. Quite, quite a bit different than your roly-polies, but all related. An aquatic isopod. Pretty badass. Look at his little, uh, look at the little paddles on the, uh, God, do you even call it a head of thorax and an abdomen if it's not an insect? I don't, I don't know. Not an entomologist or a crustacean carcinology no that's crabs only whatever it's a really cool little guy um gonna try to get an identification it's not the fairy shrimp i'm hunting but it is a damn cool little guy and just so i don't give biologists a bad rap he's going going right back where he came from somehow somehow <laughs> these tiny roadside puddles are fucking home for what is seeming to be quite a wide variety of creatures. We've got the boreal chorus frogs, we've got these isopods, I've seen water striders, a hemipteran, some kind of beetle, order there is coleoptera. So they're making use of it. 
which is, <laughs> it's just wild to see. I don't know if this is a novel ecosystem, but roadside puddles? Tell me about the ecological value of roadside puddles. I'll be ranting about this later, probably. What a, what an incredible species. I don't know. There's something, there's something really poetic and beautiful about seeing, seeing these little critters just do their own thing in the face of uh, a trail that got put directly through the swamp that was the, formerly their ancestral home. And they're just still here. They're still hanging on. And they're doing it as best as they can. And that's pretty, that's pretty tight. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys. And I will, I will leave you with this. Just some nice art house footage of a boreal chorus rock. Just resting. It's a beautiful world out there sometimes. <laughs>